What's going on guys? Here we are another week at the Home Theater Hobbyist and this week we're talking about connecting your soundbar to your AV receiver. Let's get to it. A few weeks ago I had a question about connecting a soundbar to an AV receiver and I wasn't really sure how to respond. So I, I had to think about it for a while and the reason why I had to think about it was mainly because it's, it's kind of not something I would do, right? But it can be done. There are two things that you have to be concerned about here. The first thing is that these are kind of the same thing in a certain way. An AV receiver has two main components. It has an amplifier to send power to your speakers, or actually multiple amplifiers to send power to your speakers, and it also has an audio processor to decode the audio signals from your source device. And those um, decoding signals are like DTSX, Dolby Digital, Dolby Atmos, those types of things. Now, a soundbar has basically the same thing in it. It's a self-contained unit. You have your amplifiers and your audio processing all in the same box, and it makes it really, really simple. Whereas an AV receiver, yes, you have that in the box. You have the amplifiers, you have the processors, but you don't have the speakers. You would need something like this so you can actually hear, right? And so I was like, well, why would you really want to do that? One of the main reasons I found that most people want to add a receiver or add a soundbar to a receiver is so that they can use their receiver as the center channel and then have two, let's say, uh, this is a satellite, but two speakers on the left and the right. And so that way they have a front sound stage. And so that actually makes a whole lot of sense, especially when you're first starting out. But how do you do this? And is it a good idea? First of all, let's talk about if it's a good idea. I would say it's not a great idea. And the reason why I say that is because your sound bar is going to sound different than your side speakers, right? They're gonna probably be of a different brand and have a different tonal characteristic. So if you're panning, if there's a pan across the front, there's gonna be a difference in sound once it hits your sound bar in between your left and your right speakers. So it's gonna sound a little different, right? But can you do it? Actually, you can, but you need to make sure that you have the right receiver to make this work. So let me show you how you do it. So to make this work, the first thing you'll need is a AV receiver that has pre-outs. And these are pre-outs. And what this means is this is the audio, the processed audio signal coming out of your receiver without any amplification. This receiver, the Denon AVR-X4400H has them. They are right here. This is the front, this is the center surround, surround back, and the two height channels. And the next thing you'll need is a line level cable such as an RCA cable. This Vizio soundbar actually comes with line level cables, RCA cables on one end and a three and a half millimeter aux jack on the other. With the power off, this, these both are unplugged obviously, you would plug in the aux there and you could take the white cable or the white end and plug it into the center pre-out. Now, once that's done, you can turn them on. You probably have to turn the volume up a bit in your sound bar to actually match the other speakers. And it is gonna sound different. So this is not something that we recommend you do long-term. But if you're just getting started, it is a good way to get something out of the sound bar that you've already purchased. Now, one thing you may have to do is you may have to go into your AVR settings and change the amplifier settings to actually get power sent out to your pre-outs. But otherwise, it should work. Hopefully that explanation answered your questions and now you know how to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash home theater hobby or use the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. We'll talk to you next time.